Hello everyone and welcome to CADCAM C tutorials. In this video, we'll see how to create a loft feature using the SOLIDWORKS. So loft feature is used to create the solid parts or to create the hollow parts where the cross section of solid gets changed from one shape to another shape. So let's begin it. So as we have discussed that loft feature is used to create the parts that contains more than two sections. So in order to create the loft feature, one has to create at least two sections. So let us select the front plane and we'll go to the sketch and we'll create one circle with a diameter of 50 mm. And we'll exit the sketch. So this will become the first cross section for the loft. Now in order to create another cross section at a certain distance from the front plane, first we'll go to the features and we'll create one reference plane. And the reference for this plane will be the front plane. Now we want to create section on the opposite side. So we'll just click on the flip offset checkbox and the distance is of 100 mm and ok now select this plane go to the sketch and we'll create the second cross section for the loft so that will be the rectangle so select here this drop down and click on this center rectangle now with the center as origin create one rectangle and we'll go for the smart dimension the vertical line is of 80 mm and the horizontal one is of 120 and then we'll exit the smart dimension and exit the sketch so there is the prerequisite to create loft feature so one needs at least two or more cross sections at some distance now click on this plane and make it hide now in order to create the loft feature we'll go for the features and select here lofted boss feature so in the first options you can see to select the profiles so from this history tree we can select both the sketches as a profile so select both the sketches one by one and once you select at least two sections it will show the preview of the loft boss feature now let us try to understand some basic points about lofted boss feature so here one can see that it has created two points and it shows some connecting lines so these points are called connectors and for different profiles the number of connectors are different for example for the rectangle the number of connectors are 4 that is same as the number of the vertices of the rectangle or the corners of the rectangle in the similar fashion for the circles the number of connectors is 1 so in order to create the lofted boss feature it will divide the section that is having lower number of connectors into the same number of connectors as the section of higher number of connectors and then it connects the two section so how we'll come to know that the sections are having four connectors so here we can see one connectors on both the sections so right click in the workspace and click on show all connectors so here we can see that the rectangle is having 4, circle is having 1. So it has divided the circle into 4 sections and 4 connectors are created. And then both the profiles are connected to make a solid body. Now if you want to tweak the lofted boss feature that it has created by default, you can add or remove connectors. So in order to create the connectors, just hover over one of the cross section right click and then select here 
add connector so it will automatically create connector for both the profiles and then one can shift the connector over the profile so like this you can add one or more connectors over the profiles of the lofted boss feature and then click on ok so it will generate a solid body where the cross section changes from one profile that is circled to another profile that is rectangle i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please hit on the like button share it and subscribe to this channel cadcam ce tutorials thanks